G'day everybody, uh, this is a special episode of Pints with Aquinas, you might say. I want to say big thanks to Trent Horn for letting me use his studio. I want to read what the head of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, the church of which I am a member, just had to say about fiducia supplicants. So we'll read through it together. It's a very short document, but quite powerful. So, communique regarding the reception in the UGCC, that's the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, of the declaration of the dicastery of the doctrine of the faith, fiducia supplicants on the pastoral meaning of blessings. In response to numerous appeals from bishops, clergy, monastics, ecclesial movements, and individual laity of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church regarding the declaration of the dicastery of the doctrine of the faith, fiducia supplicants, on the pastoral meaning of blessings, and after consulting with relevant experts and competent institutions, I wish to inform you of the following. And there's four short paragraphs. Here's the first. The above-mentioned declaration interprets the pastoral meaning of blessings in the Latin Church, not in the Eastern Catholic Churches. It does not address questions of Catholic faith or morals, nor does it refer to any prescriptions of the Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches, or CCEO, nor does it mention Eastern Christians. Thus, on the basis of Canon 1492 of the CCEO, This declaration applies exclusively to the Latin Church and has no legal force for the faithful of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church is one of the Eastern Catholic Churches. Therefore, it has its own liturgical, theological, canonical, and spiritual heritage, which all the faithful are obliged to observe and cherish. The meaning of Blessing in the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church and the Latin Church is different. According to the liturgical practice of our church, the blessing of a priest or bishop is a liturgical gesture that cannot be separated from the rest of the content of the liturgical rites and reduced to the circumstances and needs of private piety. Here's the fourth and final paragraph, and this really is where the rubber hits the road. He says, according to the traditions of the Byzantine rite, the concept of blessing means approval, permission, or even a spiritual directive for a certain type of action, prayer, or ascetic practice, including certain types of fasting and prayer. Obviously, the blessing of a priest always has an evangelical and catechetical dimension and therefore can in no way contradict the teaching of the Catholic Church about the family as a faithful, indissoluble, and fruitful union of love between a man and a woman, which our Lord Jesus Christ raised to the dignity of the holy sacrament of matrimony. Pastoral prudence urges us to avoid ambiguous gestures, expressions, and concepts that would distort or misrepresent God's word and the teaching of the Catholic Church. The blessing of the Lord be upon you, Sviatoslav. Glory to Jesus Christ.